Hi there guys, it's Tim Golf 5 Tango Mike again, thanks for joining me. And uh, if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and blah, 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 you know what I'm going to say. We'd love to have you to join the board anyway. And if you're uh, a regular, then welcome back. Now, uh, today's Friday, yesterday was Thursday. I'm good at that. So last, uh, well, yesterday, uh, at lunchtime, I had a quick peek at the, um, uh, the SFI reading. Uh, you no, know, the indices for HF, and it went up to 74, which isn't a massive jump, but I noticed there were some sunspots, uh, 12 sunspots, and the A and K index was quite low. In fact, it was very low. So I thought, well, what a good idea, maybe to pop out to the local hill at lunchtime, because I had all my gear in the car, and have a go at 17 metres. That's a band I hadn't tried before. I wanted to see whether or not maybe a slight increase in the, uh, in the sort of perceived conditions, according to the numbers, uh, would lead to an increase in the performance of the higher HF bands. So off I went up the local hill, popped in the 891 onto the dashboard and popped on the 17 metre Ampro whip with the mag mount on the car and had a go. And uh, well, this is how I got on. Okay, Bill, no problem. Yeah, five and three, Bill. 53, five and three with QS Baker, over. Uh, very light with Lima, I believe, on the end. Uh, QRZ, go ahead, sir. Kilo Radio Zero Zulu Alpha Lima. November 8th, X ray Germany Sierra. Yeah, November 8th, X ray Germany Sierra. Nice signal, thanks for the call. You're about 5 and 7 here. Uh, the name is Tim, over. Uh, thanks for the 5 and 7, Tom. Tom, I can't return the favor to you, but I definitely can hear you pretty well. You've got good audio. Yeah, Steve, hello there. Uh, KC3, JXG, G5TM Mobile. G5TM Mobile, this is Kilo Charlie 3, Juliet X-Ray Golf. Uh, nice to meet you for the first time. Uh, short name on my side is Reg, Romeo, Echo, Juliet, Reg. Location about 15 miles out of Mandria, G5TM Mobile. VH. Tango Mike Mobile. So there we are, it just shows, doesn't it, with a little increase in conditions, just how good a band like 17 can suddenly become. Always been a good band, 17, it's a small band. But uh, it's always been a nice band, not as hectic as 20, but uh, similar propagation, I suppose. But uh, just shows that when you have a slight, slight increase in conditions, uh, suddenly a band like 17 can come alive. Now, the question is, was that extra activity on 17 because people thought it was going to be busy and they went on? Or was the activity based on an actual improvement in conditions? We'll have to work that one out. But with a decent SFI of 74, 12 sunspots, low A and K index as well, it was always worth a go. And it just shows what can happen. Of course, the moral of the story is I called CQ and I worked a few as well. Never forget that one. Um, but to get over to Arizona, in, uh, sorry, it wasn't Arizona, it was Nevada in particular, over to the West Coast, was really, really a pleasing thing for me uh, with the setup I had. And uh, yeah, stateside were rolling in. I could hear ZS, which is South Africa. I could hear Indonesia. Didn't quite manage to work them. But um, yeah, a great band. And uh, as I say, somehow just a little bit less hectic than 20 metres. Anyway, thanks for watching. Nice to have you with me. Uh, jump aboard and click subscribe if you want to. It'll be lovely to have you on board. It'll give me a little bit of extra confidence, as I say, to keep going with the channel, knowing that uh, at least some people like what I do. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Good to work with you again. And maybe I'll catch you on the band someday. Good luck now. From Tim, G5TM. Bye-bye.